The sun is the center of our solar system as a giant ball of plasma, pretty hard to miss him in its 30 million degree center. You would see hydrogen fuse into helium and release energy. Magnetic fields cause solar flares and chronal mass ejections and particles from these burrows damage electronic connections. He's a hundred times as wide as Earth and millions of miles far. Despite all this, he's just an average sized star. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune are made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and as such, he takes at least time to run around his orbit. His year is only 88 Earth days, and the solar winds, that means that little gas stays on his rocky surface, barren and full of craters. With barely any atmosphere, his temperature wavers from 800 Fahrenheit to minus 300 at night, but there is still some icy craters away from the light. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune are made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Venus is the second planet from the sun. He's the same size as Earth, give or take some. Venus is covered in a thick layer of clouds made of carbon dioxide, which in effect shrouds the planet from losing heat like a giant blanket. So he's 900 degrees due to the greenhouse effect. He's covered in volcanoes and shaped by the powers. The only probes that ever landed died within two hours. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune are made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. The Earth is the third planet from the sun. I got a feeling you're familiar with this one. It's the only planet known to have life in its history. But just how life started is still a bit of a mystery. Four billion years ago, two protoplanets collided, and our moon was forming collision debris. United the Earth's in the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot nor too cold. The liquid water to exist, and for life as we know it to take hold. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune are made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun, and he's the place where a voyage to other planets has begun. His surface is covered with red iron oxide, and much of his atmosphere is blown away with no magnetic field inside. Early astronomers saw canals everywhere, and they thought perhaps aliens had put them there thanks to telescopes, orbiters, and rovers. We don't know that there are no such alien canals, although rivers, deltas, volcanoes, and canyons are bound. There's little water left, but life on Mars can still be found, so we sent spacecraft there, like Curiosity, to try and understand Mars' geologic history. Between the inner planets and outer planets, there are billions of asteroids orbiting in a belt around our stars. Sometimes they are knocked out of their stable orbit, and few might collide with Earth if they don't avoid it. Why the belt? It has to do with Jupiter, you see. He pulls on the belt with his massive gravity, preventing asteroids from forming into another planet. But don't worry, a big one can't hit Earth soon, well can it? Jupiter is the fifth planet, it's the largest one, bigger than all the others combined, but he's only one thousandth of the sun. He's a gas giant, so he has no ground on which to stand, but it doesn't mean his surface is bland. The Great Red Spot is a giant cyclone on his surface. It's centuries old and huge, bigger than the Earth is. There are four moons that with binoculars you can see. Discovered in 1610 by Galileo Galilei. Io has volcanoes sheared by the friction of his tides, and Europa is covered in ice with an ocean inside. Ganymede is the largest moon we know exists, and Callisto is covered in craters with the asteroids it hits. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune are made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun in terms of beauty. I'd say his rings have clearly won. They're made of bits of icy rock orbiting through the void, and they may have been formed when a moon was destroyed. Saturn is the least dense of any planet known, and the most obluted central figo force is really shown. Titan has mythen lakes in a thick orange haze, and Enceladus has water in liquid phase. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune are made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun, and the dirty jokes about his name are deserving of shun. Not much is known about Uranus or his cousin Neptune. His Voyager 2 is only crap to ever go to them. Uranus has rings, though not as great as Saturn's, and he's usually devoid of any interesting patterns. He rotates on his side, tilted 90 plus degrees, and hopefully we send a new spacecraft that be neat. 
Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune are made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Neptune is the eighth and final planet from our star. The sun's point one percent is bright because it is so far. He's similar to Uranus mass, size, and composition. And Uranus's orbit predicted his position. You may have noticed Neptune is a bright blue. The methane in his atmosphere that gives Neptune its hue. He's the windiest with thousand mile per hour gusts. And Triton has liquid nitrogen spewing from his crust. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune are made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. The ninth planet was Pluto, but he's a planet no more. Because he's too small, he's a dwarf planet, but this topic soar. The planets orbit close to a plane, but Pluto does not, and where more dwarf planets were found, that's what got this topic hot. Pluto's big wind Chiron is Pluto's little sister, so big that Pluto and Chiron orbit one another. Beyond the Kuiper Belt is the Oort Cloud, and that's where debris from our stars for me she can be found. Our sun and the planets like Earth and Mars are not all alone, just look at the stars. You see, most stars have their own collection of bodies. That is what the search for exoplanet studies. There are far more stars up there than you can see. 300 billion in our galaxy, and there are hundreds of billions of galaxies that we know. So just think about how small you are here down below.